Okay, um, hello guys, this is me, Nikki. Sorry if you can't hear me very well. Um, today I'm going to be kind of showing you how to draw a warrior cat, if you know what that is, or just how to draw a cat. So, um, it's just kind of how I do it. Uh, so I always start with, like, this. Like, it, I always draw it kind of different. I'm not quite sure if you can see that. Um, I don't know. But, ah, uh, sorry, I just bumped the camera. It's, like, not on the table. It's, like, kind of next to me. Charging at, like, the same time I'm trying to record. I don't know. So, um, then I, oh, I, like, sorry if you can't see. My arm probably is getting in the way. Um, I've been trying out some... Oh, my pencil just broke. I've been trying out some um, different ways or whatever, and I think that's how I do the ear best. Then right there. So I don't really start with any like foundation things or whatever, like circles and whatnot. I just do normal stuff, like start drawing the cat. So and then I do that. It's never the same on both sides. And then oh my gosh. Okay, I do the eyes. Sometimes they're not perfectly symmetrical like I want them to be. But let's move on. I do two oval circles here. I'll show you this closer. Okay, right. There's the side look at the cat. Whoa. Keep knocking into things. Sorry. So then I do the nose. And I, like, attempt to draw the mouth. Sometimes I'm not very good at it. And then after that, I I do um, eyebrows. They're not always perfectly symmetrical either. So. Who's that so far? So now I want to do in the chin, like that, and then of course, so like the um, fur is kind of going down, see those little lines right there, um, e, then, um, yeah, and then, uh, I usually make the shoulders, shoulder bump things. Uh, sorry, you can't see it. Right there. It's coming along. Then I always. Oh god. Um, I found that this way was easier. It, you just do like a bump thingy. And then next leg. Yikes. And then, of course, a little pause. I wish I had my cat close at hand so I could show you, but I don't. And sometimes his body is a little bit out of proportion, as you can see. His feet are like a lot smaller than the rest of his body, but you can fix that later. Then from about the point, um, uh, this point, like right there, you want to do sort of like a triangle thingy, and then a little pause. And like that. And you do the exact same thing on the other side. 
Uh, and then right there. Um, then you want to do the tail. Sort of like that. So there's the tail. So then next up, if you want to color it, then I will keep watching. But if you don't want to color it, then I would just stop the video and go look at something else. So one minute, let me get my colors out. Okay, I just got a big thing of colored pencils. I have better ones, but they're all the way downstairs and I've already started the video. So I'm not gonna go get those. Uh, my favorite colors to play with, let's see if I can find them, here they are, are brown and orange, just maybe a little bit of black just because I kind of find it, you know, entertaining to make calicos for some reason. So, let's, okay, so I got my orange, little orange pencil. And I'm just kind of making up the colors as I go because, like, honestly, yeah. So this has to be a female, I guess, now that it's a calico. So I'm just going to color the tips of its little fur bang things orange and then you can always change it up later but yeah so I'm getting out my brown brown color and I'm just gonna kind of you know so there we go and then I'm gonna I'm gonna color the other ear black um, sorry, I've got like a really runny nose, and that's probably like extremely loud on my iPod for some reason, because it just always is. So, then I'm just going to color in the pupils over there, because I didn't do that. Um, so yeah, it's kind of going cross-eyed right there. Let me find my Sharpie. Okay, yeah, here it is. You can use a pen or a sharpie. This is a sharpie pen. I'm just gonna outline like the eyes. I'm gonna color in the nose and the mouth and of course the eyebrows. And do those. So there we go. That's a little outline thing. Sorry, I'm, I don't even know why I'm talking like this, but I just am. Okay, then we go back to orange. La, la, la. I don't even know why I keep showing you guys the pen because it's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of where you choose, okay, is it going to be a black, white, and brown calico, or is it going to be a um, black, brown, and orange calico? I think that I'm going to be making a white, orange, brown, and black one, just because I can, so, yep, my black, I don't know why, I just think that looks pretty cool, so, yeah, then over here I'm going to, one, two, and, oh, Sorry, that is, you, never mind. And then I'm just gonna, you don't have to like copy me exactly if you're even got your pen and paper out right now. But this is just how I like to do stuff. And then I'm just gonna color like this half of her face sort of orangey-ish. Then I'm gonna go to brown and play. So I'm gonna have like 
this part of her face be kind of white. So, uh, it's either like white or orange for the real, really like detailed parts because you don't want them to be covered up in brown and black, do you? No, so. Over here, okay, so I like that. And then I'm gonna leave her chin and chest white, which would be this part and this part. In case you didn't know, I didn't have a cat. Um, I'm gonna color this in brown and I am gonna do this next quick change to black and sometimes you can just have fun with spots because it is really fun just to like do random spotty marks. <laughs> Why did I just say spotty? I don't know. No idea. So, and I'm just gonna go like this, cover up them spots, cause they're kind of ugly. And I'm gonna color this part of her foot black. And you know, this really doesn't have to look realistic. If you really feel like it, you can make it a boy. But everybody knows that calicos cannot physically, they might be able to mentally be a boy, but they can't physically be male creatures. <laughs> Why am I saying creatures? I've got no idea, so. Yay! Um, then sometimes I'll just like color one side completely orange and then do like black tabby stripes or something. Or just like dots. I don't know why. It might not even be black, maybe just like... See, like that, because it looks pretty cool. And then maybe some... Spotty Loos. Right there. And then over here, I'm going to do like... Just like that. So, yep, then color it in, and you can always, you know, add colors and stuff. Like sometimes I don't even know why I do these. The, the, oh, I can't talk today, people. Okay, sometimes I don't even know why I do this. I just do. So, there. And then, for the tail, which I'm probably going to leave half of it, like, white-ish. Color-ish. Um. Yeah, I don't know why I just stopped talking. Um. I'm going to color this. Um, and then sorry, I've gone silent. I don't know. Why. Um, okay, next colors can be. Okay, well, yep. Now to come up with a beautiful name. Um. Oh, I got one. Oh, God. Okay. There. I'll show you guys. Here's the cat, and then 